Okay, now then listen. Now then, JJK chapter 256 has just come up and it's supporting everything I've been saying to my friends for the longest time. That it usually has gravity manipulation and black flash manipulation. Now okay, now then, I'm going to simplify all the points I made so that it's concise and easy to understand. UG has gravity manipulation because he inherited it from his mum who had the curse technique of anti-gravity system. And if Yuji can inherit Kenjaku's curse technique of blood manipulation when he's just a brain, who's to say that Yuji can't also inherit his mum Kaori's curse technique of the anti-gravity system when that's literally his flesh and blood? Yuji can use his anti-gravity system to control his curse energy output speed by using his physical strikes as a domain, which would in turn allow his curse energy and physical strikes to occur 0.000001 seconds of each other, which is technically what Kenjaku did by using his physical body as a domain to change his curse energy output. However, he did do it for a different result, not to get black flashes like how Yuji will do it. Also, Gojo stated that black flash can happen depending on the blend between your physical condition and your opponent's cursed energy. And Choso also says that Yuji's blows can weaken cursed energy output. Meaning that once Yuji realizes how this perfect blend actually works to create black flashes, Yuji can then manipulate his opponent's cursed energy um, output, which is shown that he can do it to perfectly resonate with his own physical condition to use black flash throughout the fight and it doesn't matter how his physical condition changes throughout the fight because he can just change the opponent's curse energy output to properly resonate with that now then by the end of this chapter it says that yuji has awakened and now then i believe that this is yuji realizing um how the how to create the perfect blend between physical condition and the opponent's curse energy so that he can use black flashes by will and this is further corroborated by the fact that this so-called awakening happened directly after he landed a black flash on Sukuna. Meaning that this awakening has to be related to the black flash. And now then this makes sense as to why Gojo at the beginning of the chapter was explaining to us the reader how black flashes work. Because now it's given us the hints and the foreshadowing that Yuji will be able to understand all the things that Gojo has just said. And now he will be able to use black flashes by will. Now then, I'm going to answer a key question that may arise when listening to my theory, and this is, why can't Kenjaku consecutively use Black Flash? From what Gojo said, I believe that Black Flash can happen when two main factors occur in tandem. The first factor is when curse energy and physical strike land within 0.000001 second of each other. And the second factor is when you get the perfect blend between your physical condition and your opponent's curse energy. Now then, whilst Kenjaku can technically achieve the first factor by using his physical body as a domain to achieve it, he cannot weaken his opponent's curse energy with his blows, meaning that he cannot achieve the second factor. And because Black Flash needs both of these factors to happen in tandem, it means that Kenjaku cannot achieve Black Flash by will. Whilst Yuji can achieve both of these factors, meaning that he can use Black Flash by will.